Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, Andrew here. Um, uh, so for today, I actually have a um, a special review for you guys to do for for you guys today. <coughs> Sorry, I'm doing it late at night. I'm still battling my sickness, so just bear with me for another couple of days. Hopefully, this cough will be over and everything. Um, so um, basically. Um, <clears throat> Basically today, me and my brother, the last two days actually, we, we went on a really cool um, paranormal expedition, and um, and then um, at at uh, West Virginia State Penitentiary, which is supposedly haunted, um, didn't I didn't technically you know you know have any experiences or anything like that. <clears throat> but today we went on. Um, we we've always loved uh, going on like um, like haunted hay rides. That's one of our like you know like one of our favorite things to do. So we 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 went on one um, tonight, <clears throat> and we went through like the house and everything like that. Um, which that wasn't really that good, but the hay ride was really fun. I I've always loved hay rides. Um, so we were kind of thinking like. Wow, this would have been a this would be a really good night to watch. Um, and if you're seeing the um, the uh, the title, I'll just show you what what's um, what's going. The the house is October built. This is the poster for it. If you need a visual image and everything of it. <coughs> um, so yeah, this is the movie that I watched tonight. Um, we watched it on Netflix. Neither of us own it, so. Um, we pretty much just had to, I pretty much don't have anything to show you guys other than that, so. <coughs> Basically, I mean, the premise of the movie is that they try to, they're trying to find this extreme um, haunted house where people do extreme things to try to scare you. So they, you know, they go through a couple of like the, you know, the traditional haunted houses where people are jumping out at you and everything. And then, and then they they keep trying to look for these. Um, they keep trying to look for clues as to how to get there. <coughs> and basically, they eventually find it, and things start to get you know more crazy as the movie progresses. And you can, as you can imagine, um, the uh, the ending is <coughs> quite intense. Um, but yeah, it's a found footage film, and so that that depends on your likings of found footage. I I particularly really enjoy found footage when done right. Um, but yeah, I've seen it done really badly. Um, most notably, I think the Devil Inside and like the Amityville Haunting. Those ones are done, I think, really poorly. <coughs> but really, um, I think this one was done fairly well. I mean, it was done. I liked the, um, I liked the atmosphere to it. It had a, it had an interesting build. It had a very unique build to it because it wasn't really more like things like weird happened and kept escalating, but basically, um, it, the days progressed and they kept, you know, finding more clues. So it was more of a mystery of like, they were uncovering more and, um, <coughs> Weirder stuff did start to happen as the movie progressed, but it didn't have as much of the the you know the progression of that as a normal found footage movie will. Um, but I gotta say I I really enjoyed it. Um, the movie the the ending now this is a little bit of a spoiler, <coughs> but the ending of it is a little is kind of open ended. So you you pretty much you get. Um, you don't really get answer to you, um, what the uh, what it leads you to believe one thing, but it doesn't technically answer it. So it could be one of a couple things. So that that to me, I, I kind of liked, but I also would have rather had something more tangible there. <coughs> um, but yeah, I. I did. I did think that it was. Uh, I did think that it was good. It was pretty scary. If I were to rate it, I were to give it a um, six and a half out of ten. I thought it was better than average. Um, some of the negatives that I thought about it. Um, 
<clears throat> the characters did really, really stupid things. Like, just so many stupid things. Like, blatantly stupid things. Where, like, it was like, okay, no normal person would ever do this. Like, you could never see people doing this. Um, and a lot of the things were cliched, but they did, and they felt cliched. Um, I don't know how to explain why that was, but it just did for me. Um... <coughs> But it definitely was a creepy, unsettling movie for me, and I thought that it was a really good October movie for us to watch then. Yeah, I didn't really plan on doing a review of this movie, but um, and I'd totally forgotten about this one, so... <coughs> yeah, um, that's all really for the, for that I'm going to do for this one. Um, yeah, please like and subscribe. Um, we're planning on doing the, um, the, uh, the Halloween uh, franchise uh, review. Hopefully get to doing that tomorrow. The thing is, is that, you know, we keep doing these things and, like, things just keep happening and we just, like, spend so much time there and we spend so much time at the waiting in line and stuff at the, you know, the, the, for the hayride and stuff. So we, <coughs> we didn't really get to, we didn't really get to, we were going to watch uh, Trick or Treat and that tonight, so I'd have done a Trick or Treat review. But I just got to watch that movie, and it's super late already as it is right now, so I'm going to have a hard time getting to sleep tonight. But it is what it is. I get, At least I get to do this video in. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, please like, subscribe. Let me know what you think if you've seen this movie, because it isn't one of those ones that's like super well-known. So let me know if you've seen it, uh, what your thoughts on it were. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, thanks, guys, for tuning in. Um, see you tomorrow with another video. It'll be maybe a Halloween video, maybe a trick or treat. I'm not sure, um, but yeah. Thanks, guys, and see you tomorrow.